Hey guys, Alpha and BA back with another video. The Statement Edition jerseys. Yes, those with the Jumpman logo on the shoulder. And you can see right now two of the last two season Statement Edition jerseys from the Brooklyn Nets. And specifically, Kevin Durant name on it, number seven. The thing is, the last two to four years, each team had a one design Statement Edition jersey. And that changed actually this season. That is the 2022-23 NBA season. So this gray graffiti type Brooklyn Nets statement edition jersey was present around, I think, three years. And this one is specifically from the last 75th anniversary season with the diamond logos. And then the NBA suddenly decided to change the design for most of the team statement edition jerseys i think not most but actually each and every team has a new statement edition design jersey so you can see this is a minimalistic black brooklyn nice jersey they both had the three stars on the side panel but only one side panel so actually my first thought for this video was to show you the newly released statement edition jersey but then i thought that i have to show you the last season statement edition jersey as well so you can see how big of a change one season made. So this particular jersey came out just recently in the Fanatics website. At first all sizes were available, but lately most of them are already sold out. But before even the Fanatics released the jersey, I have my friend in Asia, Taiwan, who helped me out to get this jersey from the official Asian Nike store. So it's a Nike retail jersey, but it has different inside tags for Asian market and it has one tag on the shoulder only compared to the other retail jerseys that have two tag sets on the shoulder. So basically these are the only differences, the tags inside and on the shoulder, but everything else is exactly the same as you will get in the Fanatics store. But right now let's check this jersey in more detail. If you want to see more detailed video about this gray statement edition jersey, I will put the links in the description. I had a couple of review videos made earlier for this jersey, so you can check that video after this one. But let's now check this jersey out. So this is how the jersey looks from the front side. It's really minimalistic, black and white. So you can see the embroidered Jumpman logo for the statement jerseys. You can see the shiny armpit material that is present on the neck trim as well. It's made in Thailand, dry fit advanced. You have the stitched nets letters. So you can see the detail here, as well as the number seven with the perforated black material, all stitched. Then you have the jog tag, statement edition tab, Jumpman logo as well here, size 52 extra large. So the right side panel has nothing on, just the black material. But when you look on the left side panel, you can see the classic Brooklyn Nets style arrows. Then you have the stitched stars. Then you have the heat pressed star in the middle and the bigger star stitched on the side panel. You have three stars and you have the white stripe in both of the side panel sides. That's the side panel. So that's the front of the jersey. And here you have the back of the jersey, heat pressed NBA logo, stitched Durant letters and stitch number seven. And that's basically all. So the rubberized logo, the Durant letters, and the number seven. and the side panel once again. 
So if we check the inside tags, so for the Asian market, they have already the measurements on, it's made in Thailand, but you can see the centimeter size here, and there are many of them inside in their language. So that's the difference between the United States and global authentic jersey inside tags and the Asian market ones. But this sizing tag is the same as for all the other authentic jerseys. So this is actually the only difference for the Asian Nike retail jerseys. And you have only one tag here. So this is not a fake. You just don't have these tags. This is for the last year's jersey. It has this barcode and the move to zero jumpman tag as well this one has only this one nba store tag or nba authentics tag so the tags are the only difference for asian market jerseys but otherwise it's really the same nike retail jersey no team store jersey with the lower quality materials but the real deal so just to show you guys that it's the real deal you can see that it has the perfectly stitched number seven and nets letters. There's no paper inside. The material is smooth from the outside, just like the Nike retail jerseys should be. And there is the embroidered Jumpman logo and the perfectly stitched letters and number. So same goes for the back of the jersey. Everything's perfectly stitched. You can see the side panel, the single stitched stars, the black twill, the black stitching, and the Durant letters, and number seven, perfectly stitched on. So if you ever have a chance to get a authentic jersey from Asian Nike store, be sure that this is a real deal, just that the tags are a little bit different but all around the jersey is exactly the same. So guys, if you like this video, please click subscribe to this channel because I have many more videos to show you. I have many jerseys just arrived, so we'll take many more reviews. But these are the two statement edition jerseys from the Brooklyn Nets. Somehow I like this gray one a little bit more just for the fact that it has the diamond logos. It's Kevin Durant and 75th anniversary NBA logo. This jersey is a brand new version of the Statement Edition design. So that's that. Thank you for watching, guys. And let's meet in the next episode of Alf NBA.